Now, excess mucus in your stool is not something you generally talk about, unless, of course, you're talking to a doctor. But oftentimes, people don't go to their doctor. I've been guilty of that in the past, and I've even been guilty of that with my own excess mucus. So why do we have mucus in the first place? Well, mucus is actually a lubrication and it helps to protect your intestine. Also, the mucus in your bowel helps with absorption, helps with immunity, but it also helps to reduce any inflammation in your bowel. So most people probably wouldn't be aware that you have mucus in your bowel, but on the basis you're watching this video, you're probably aware of mucus because you are either passing your stool with excess mucus or if you were like me, you were also passing mucus on its own, which is actually not a very nice thing to have. And that's why I thought I'd share this video because I now no longer have excess mucus. And you might be surprised as to how I got rid of it and it wasn't going to the doctor. Your problem with producing excess mucus could be an intermittent problem. It could have come and gone or you could have it all of the time. If you do have it all of the time, you need to probably seek medical attention, go to see a doctor. Now it's important to point out that I'm not a doctor and sometimes there can be sinister reasons behind why you're producing excess mucus. And that's probably a good point to go on to looking at what can cause excess mucus. So I've written a list of what can cause excess mucus. And I'll just run through some of those now. Mucus can be caused as a result of an infection which could follow on from having diarrhea and uh, from a salmonella bacterial infection. It can be also caused by inflammation of the digestive tract like IBS, or it can be caused by an inflammatory bowel disease like ulcerated colitis or even Crohn's disease. Another thing that can cause it is celiac disease. Now this is an important one to note. Excess mucus can be caused by cancer too. It's one of the many signs of colon cancer, which is obviously a more of a sinister type of cause. And that's why it's important to have it checked out. Don't just rely on this video. Go and speak to a doctor and have your bowel checked. Certain food intolerances can also cause excess mucus. For example, lactose, fructose, sucrose, gluten can all cause inflammation of the intestinal walls and that can cause your bowels to generate more or excess mucus. There is also a common misconception among people that a common cold and the excess mucus caused in your nose when that's swallowed can also cause mucus in the bowel, but that's actually not the case because the mucus in your bowel is actually secreted by the, the large intestine and by the anal region. If mucus is transient or it just lasts for a short time, it's probably as a result of an infection. However, if it's persistent, you do need to speak to a doctor and you do need to get to the bottom of it and what's causing your excess mucus. So I used to have mucus on an intermittent basis. I could never pinpoint what the problem was. I'd had a colonoscopy and that was negative. So I was confident that I didn't have bowel cancer. I think possibly for me, it could have been a mild form of IBS or possibly it could have been a as a result of going through cancer and I ended up with sepsis three times. Yes, let me repeat that. I survived sepsis three times, which is amazing in itself. But each time I had sepsis, I was on intravenous antibiotics. Now, antibiotics aren't good for the gut biome. It destroys some of the bacteria. Now, that could be the cause of my excess mucus. So thinking that it could be as a result of IBS or it could have been as a result of the intravenous antibiotics, I thought I needed to sort out my gut biome and also I thought maybe I need to change my diet. So I never managed to pinpoint what the problem was with food. But what happened was while I was researching good foods to eat, when to eat and all the rest of it, I ended up finding out about intermittent fasting. And that's what I, I am doing now. And I've doing, been doing intermittent fasting now for coming up four months. Now, I didn't do intermittent fasting to cure uh, my mucus, excess mucus problem in my stool. And I don't think anyone else has put any videos out on this as far as I'm aware. But I found that since doing intermittent fasting, I've not had 
any problems with excess mucus. Now, quite why that's happened, I don't know. Now, just so if you don't know, intermittent fasting means that you fast for a longer period than you would normally because most people effectively fast while they sleep. So they'll have their evening meal and then they don't eat until they have breakfast in the morning. Now, intermittent fasting means you extend that fasting period. So what I'm doing is what's called the 16-8 intermittent fast. So I fast for 16 hours and then I just eat during an eight hour window. And it's extending that fasting period or not eating window that has many health benefits. And it turns out that it actually can help with excess mucus. Now, of course, this doesn't get away from the fact that if your excess mucus is being caused by potentially a sinister disease like cancer, then you need to have that checked out. Now, of course, you won't know until you have perhaps a colonoscopy. And please go and have that checked because the sooner you can pick up on colon cancer, the more likely you are of having that treated. But normally with colon cancer, you probably might have some of the other symptoms like blood in your stool, possibly abdominal pain and things like that. But just because they don't exist, you may want to consult a doctor because as I've said before, I'm not a doctor and I'd hate you to listen to this and something worse could happen to you. So if you start to do intermittent fasting and it cures your excess mucus, please pop a comment below. Please subscribe because then that way you can come and find me again. And uh, I hope that you can cure yours like I have done with mine. And thank you very much for listening and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.